welcome back to my channel it's of course Chelsea of she designs things and in today's brief video I'm gonna be showing you something really cool between Google sites and blogger so if you'd like to know more then of course stay tuned so let's go ahead and start with a brief history lesson <laughs> so blogger was acquired by Google in 2003 and Google hosts the blogs, which can be accessed through a subdomain of Blogspot. So, Blogspot, what is it? How do you use it? How do you access it? Again, you can just click on blogger.com and it'll actually take you, if you're logged in like I am, to Blogger. So, this is a Google property. Let's talk about how this and Google Sites works together. Now here you can see I have the Therapist 2 opened up and I'm actually looking at a blog. Now one of the reasons you would want to use Blogger instead of your Google site to create a blog is very simple. Monetization. You cannot monetize or advertise using AdSense in Google Sites. So if you wanted to do that, you would have to use Blogger and probably use the full embed option if you're going to be using a google site but what i want to show you is something really cool that you can also do by using google sites so here i do have this blog post open up and i'm going to just click into the preview mode all right and then i'm going to go to large screen and i'm going to copy the contents of this google site i'm actually going to copy all contents of the google site so let me just highlight it so I'll copy all the content and then inside of blogger I'm just going to paste the content when you paste the content as you can see it definitely shows up and if I want the font to show up like the same style that I have I can actually change that in the settings but the the stylization that I have shows up. And what I also discovered while doing this, while testing it, wasn't that it you could just copy and paste it, but the entire Google site would actually show up inside of Blogger. That led me to believe that Google Sites is actually built using the same information, platform, and system to create your Google site. And here is another example. This is a blogger preview of this same site. I actually just copied the entire homepage and let me spread it across so you can see it a little bit better. I copied the entire homepage and then I pasted it inside a blogger as a blog post just so you could see. And this was very specific because I wanted to see if everything like the styling the formatting would you know show up here and it did and what it what I also found too is let's see my own site would do the same thing um, and if you have a theme applied it does tend to apply the theme that you have so underlining things like that will also show up in here but but, 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 there is always a but and there's always like something caveat as to why you use one over the other. One, Blogger is great for obviously creating a newsletter so that when you do create a post in your blog that people are notified that you've created a new blog post. You don't have that option inside of Google Sites. It is not something that you can do. However, what you can do is actually paste your blog spot into your Google site like I've done in this one. Now, this Google site that I'm using does not use the Google menu option. I have hidden all the pages and created my own menu. So for that reason, if someone were to click on the blog page and I had it um, highlighted like in here, as in my drop down menu, it would take them to this one. But right now it's gonna take to this page here. So I did copy and paste the link as an embed, um, a full page embed inside of this Google site. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is one of the posts. I'm gonna click on the post 
and here you have it. There's the style that I have and the only problem with this is because you're copying it from your Google site, it's pasting it with the, the sizing requirements. So it's just so out of whack. It's not responsive. I did find that to be kind of cool. I was like, wow, they are pretty much the same thing. Uh, so now you know. If you wanted to, you could absolutely create your um, blog inside of your Google site and then paste it in here if you prefer the format um, of using Blogger, but you want to be able to create something that looks good quickly, go right on ahead, knock yourself out. <laughs> now, I will say this, I don't know how long the images will last because uh, generally speaking, Google's images, they are, the, the link to them will move, but I don't think in this case it matters because it's already in Google's server, um, which is the same place that it's built anyway. All right, so if there is something else you want me to show you guys, just let me know. I know this video was short and didn't really go into too much details. I do plan to make a video eventually about how to design a Google site from start to finish, but honestly, it will take a long time to be able to do that because I want it to be something that's comprehensive and I want to also explain the differences between um, these menu that I created versus utilizing Google's um, menu option, which, you know, should, in their navigation option. Um, but I prefer to create my own sort of pseudo navigation, <laughs> uh, which gives me more control over the Google site. Okay, so next week I will be kind of out. I'm going on a much needed vacation. So please, if I don't get back to you or respond to a message or a comment, know that I am away for a much needed vacation. <laughs> and then I'll try to get back to you um, as soon as I get back to my home state. Uh, and also, if you have a suggestion on what it is, uh, what type of I don't know what type of Google site tutorial you want to see. Just let me know. And I mean, when I go ahead and want get ready to start making the Google site tutorial on how to make one, if you have that theme in mind, like maybe you want to see me make one for a, um, I don't know, probably not a therapist because I've done a ton of them. I'm, I'm done making these. Um, but maybe if you want to see a site that's like, uh, what's one um uh an automotive repair store or shop or even like apparel there's a ton of options for that like if you have an idea uh and you want to know start to finish how to create say this style of a website like i have like my google site is then just let me know and i will definitely definitely try to um when i make that video create one just for you all right, so that was a long <laughs> couple minutes just to explain that I'm gonna make a video about, yeah, anywho. <laughs> I do hope you guys found this tutorial to be, well, this video actually to be informative. Um, and as always, thanks so much for watching and laters.